Hey, so it's uh, July 7th, and I just left Savage, Minnesota, where I spent the uh, July 4th holiday with uh, my cousins, and had a great time, fireworks on the lake, and uh, had a blast. So today, or this morning, I left, and I've got a stop over here at a place called Toledo Falls uh, in Wisconsin. And I'm stopping here for one night, and I'm on my way to a new adventure tomorrow. I'm going to take the RV and the Jeep on the SS Badger. Well, we finally left Toledo Falls this morning, uh, about an hour and a half drive to Mantelbock and uh, getting ready to board the SS Badger. Car's already on board and just waiting to take the RV on. Uh, it's uh, still only about 12.15 uh, so it doesn't sail until uh, 2 o'clock. The ship's behind me and uh, they're starting to take uh, passenger vehicles on right now. I guess they're leaving the RVs until later on. And uh, then when we get to the other side at Ludington in Michigan, they'll uh, just park them and then you'll have to go and uh, reconnect and get on your way. Getting aboard, but uh, the Jeep's on. I'm still waiting on the uh, RV to come from behind, so maybe I'll get to see it from the upper deck when I get on board. deck of the uh, SS Badger and we're about 45 minutes before we uh, depart across Lake Michigan so we'll take a walk around and see what's going on we're uh, still in uh, Manitowoc uh, Harbor at the car ferry and uh, I guess we'll begin out over there and it'll be uh, about a four-hour crossing uh, to get to Ludington in uh, Michigan The SS Badger is the last coal-fired passenger steamship in operation in the United States. She has provided a fun, reliable and affordable shortcut across beautiful Lake Michigan for more than 60 years and has transported millions of passengers since her rebirth in 1992. 
In 2016, she received the nation's highest historic honor when the Department of Interior officially designated the Badger as a National Historic Landmark. Additionally, the Badger is extremely unique in that she is an NHL that moves. The 410-foot SS Badger can accommodate 600 passengers and 180 vehicles, including RVs, motorcycles, motor coaches and commercial trucks during her sailing season. Originally designed primarily to transport railroad cars, this grand ship and the people who serve her have successfully adapted to the changing world since she first entered service in 1953. And as the Glasgow Nomad emerges from the bowels of the SS Badger, all that remains is to pick up the Jeep, get it attached to the RV, and start making our way to the next part of the journey. We're off to Canada. See you in the next vlog.